There are a lot of tools in Adobe Photoshop that you can make great use of only if you know how to use them. In this tutorial, I'll be discussing with you some of the tools that you can make great use of in Photoshop. Let's get into the video. Alright, so when you come to this side of the whole workspace of Adobe Photoshop, we have the various tools over here, starting from the move tool to uh, the zoom tool okay so in this tutorial i'll be taking about five of them since i don't want to keep this video very long and boring so let's start with the move tool in the previous video we learned how to open new documents or pictures so we open any document or picture in photoshop and we try to make use of them if you quite remember in the previous video i told you if you have a picture like this and you see this lock over it it indicates that the uh, layer has been locked partially so before you can work on it you have to unlock it so you double click on it and then you click ok to turn it into a layer now taking the move tool the move tool basically means that you are moving the to the layer or the layer that you've selected to a different place or you want to reposition it that is to say that you right click and hold on it and you can drag it anywhere that you want to take it to now we're going to make use of a step back and then the control plus alt plus z to to undo anything that we don't want so let's check something here if i have two layers like this and I want to move the first layer that is the layer zero copy to this side so I can just hold and drag it to this side but what if I have so many layers and I can't just select from you just right click and the layers available will show so if I select this one it means that I'm working on this particular layer so I can move it down since this one is on top you can see it clearly so on this same in this same video you can have different layers or something like that so that is what basically the move to does it allows you to move any layer to any place of your choice now let me take this particular tools over here we have um, the rectangular market tools straight down to the single column market tool what this also does basically is that it allows you to make a selection or yeah selection of any part of the layer that you are working on let's check something here if i make a selection at this particular side it means that anything that i apply on this layer will affect the part that i've selected only so let me hit on delete on my keyboard and it will delete this part only that is if i if i'm to brush this particular layer it is going to affect this selected area only so that is what the rectangular market to also do now the elliptical market to it is also about selection so you can select something if i want let's say the head only i can select this part and place it here and if i cut it out you can see that I have the head over here and I have the main body also over here so that is basically what the selection these tools also do so you can make use of the single column you can try your hands on them and you will enjoy using it now I want to talk about these tools over here that is the lasso tool and the polygonal lasso tool and other stuff but then I would like to open another image All right, so I have this image over here and I've selected my Lagzo tool. The Lagzo tool in a way or two works with this selection tool up here. So if I left click and go around like this, I'm making a selection. At the moment I take it to this point, the initial point, it will create a selection for me. So that one too, if I make a cut of it, you can see that I have two different layers over here. So that is what the Lazo 2 
actually so if you want to make a selection at this area only you can do that with the laxo tube now let me take the polygonal laxo tube the polygonal laxo tube basically works it's the same way with the laxo tube but they have a slight different that is to say that if i choose the polygonal laxo tube i can make selection all right but then if i click in on any part of this one unless i click again it will not stop let's take for instance i click like this and then i'll be dragging it it won't stop until i right left click again like this so if i select this area only this area if i delete it you can see that it is gone so basically i'm fond of using this to make selection around pictures so you can see if i start from this point until i click where i want it to stop it will keep going and if i select something like this and then i will take it back to the initial point and then i will delete it so you can use this polygonal laxo tool in cutting off your pictures removing backgrounds in photoshop and other stuff so let me go back and then when the selection has been made what i've been using to deselect is the ctrl d or you can go to select and you find the select here that is ctrl d over here if you don't deselect and you choose any other um, tool it will work on the selected part only remember i told you that so anytime you are done with a selection a particular selection you just have to press ctrl d and it will deselect it all right so the last one is the magnetic laxo tool the magnetic laxo tool works very perfect if you have a picture like what i have on my screen right now that is to say if i click on this part it will take all the magnetic parts so i'm just moving around like this and it's selecting you see it's selecting all the parts since the background is plain white it attracts the plain background and then it will just select until you are fed up and you, you decide to bring it to the initial point and then you can delete that one so you can also use that one for cutting out images or removing backgrounds if you have a very sharp picture like this one and the background is just one or plain so let me go back and that is it for these tools now i'm talking about the quick selection and the magic one selection so all these are selection tools that you can if you take the quick selection tool it allows you to make a quick selection so you just left click and then you take it around where you want the selection to be made that one also works perfectly well if you have um, a plain background and a very sharp image like this so all these parts are selected and if i apply anything on this layer it will affect only the selected area the magic one tool also allows you to select a particular color from a document or a picture so this background is very plain and white if i just right click on it it will select all the whites in the image for me again let me click something like here so you see it has selected all the colors the color that i chose all the colors on the face it has selected it for me if i left click on this side it will, it will select all the blues or the place the exact place that i selected it will select all of it for me so that is how the magic tool the magic one tool also works now the last thing i'm talking about for the day is the crop tool we have the perspective and slide tool but for the meantime since this is beginners tutorial i'll talk about the crop tool only the crop tool allows you to crop a part of your image for instance i have this whole image but i want i don't want this part the up part here the upper part sorry i don't want it so i'll just drag it down and if i want to drag here up to the white 
on the edges i don't want it so i'll just drag them and then i'll just drag this side also if you want it this way you can go ahead and then you confirm it from here and then you, you can see that your image has been cropped better still if you select your crop tool and you have the dimensions in your head you can just input the dimensions say 8 by 8 and then you click ok and it will crop for you something just like this so that is how the various two so in this tutorial I talked about the move to up to the crop to in this next tutorial I'll be talking about the eyedropper tool where you can use to make a few selection or choose a particular color in your works so thanks for watching this tutorial and I hope you like and subscribe to my channel like my Facebook page and then make comments ask questions anything that you don't understand you can comment in the sec in the comment box below and I'll answer you I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. I'll see you in the next tutorial. Bye.